Hey, welcome back. This is Craig Sigal with Break80WithoutPractice.com, and I am the anti-practice expert. That's right. I'm here to teach you that you can improve your game very significantly without any practicing. That's my specialty. Specialty. That's what I teach folks throughout the world. Now, the first thing today that we need to do is dispel these ideas about muscle memory. And you hear it often, you have to develop muscle memory. And that the only way to do it is by practicing over and over. Guess what? There is no such thing as muscle memory. <laughs> you might be asking yourself, what is this nutball talking about? Of course there's such thing as muscle memory. The great golf instructors have been teaching this concept for years. Uh, and they can't be wrong, can they? I'm here to tell you that they are. You know... Swing instructors are wonderful, but how much physiology and biology do you think the average golf instructor is schooled in or understands? Listen, they know their craft, and if you're one, I take my hat off to you. But very few understand why what they teach works at the cellular level. The fact is it just does, and, and I'm not here to dispute that. I'm here to add to it. You see, for, for generations, golf instruction has always taught us that the only way to become a better golfer is to learn a correct swing, a perfect swing, and then practice it over and over until you can repeat it without thinking and minimal effort. The problem with this is that traditional teaching has limits. You already know that two of the biggest problems are that A, <laughs> you don't have time to practice, and B, when you do, you practice incorrectly because of interference patterns. What the heck are interference patterns, you might say? We're going to get to that, but let's finish our muscle memory discussion. The old thinking about practice is just not true. You see, this memory we're talking about, it is throughout your entire body. And I first learned this from golf psychologist Dr. Tom Kubistant who's one of the very first sports psychologists on the planet, starting way back in the 70s. He worked with Olympic athletes before there was even such a term as sports psychology. And he told me there is no such thing as muscle memory. And I'd like to add to that, that the belief that there is muscle memory has held you back and limited you in your quest to improve your game. You see, memory is not located anywhere in particular, but rather in every cell of your body. And that collective intelligence is called the unconscious mind. You see, in reality, the memory of that correct swing that, that you work on spending countless hours perfecting does not reside in the muscles, per se. Instead, it's in the mind. And the mind is not just the brain. Go ahead right now. Point to your mind right now. And if you point to your head, you have limited yourself. This means that everything in golf is mental, but not necessarily thinking. Hold on to that. Hold on to that for a while and as we go through this process with me. Back to the interference that you have to clear. <laughs> Listen, first off, so I'm not saying that practicing your swing won't help your game. Obviously it can. But let's face it, the money for the golf industry is in the equipment range balls, and the lesson. And unfortunately, that's what you've been sold for years and are programmed like a robot to respond to. It's everywhere. It's in the magazines. It's in your pro shops. It's not here. You, I want to tell you, are very good at programming yourself this way. And you can deprogram yourself the same way if you're open to the possibilities. So that's right. There is no muscle memory. Because muscles alone, they cannot store the memory of the swing and then replicate that act in total by themselves. In fact, they can only do one thing. Contract. Two, if you count growing or replicating as doing something. That's it and no more. And they do this at signals given by the entire mind that includes the nervous system, the brain, and all other of your systems working in sync and harmony. If muscles had memory, we could just hit a golf shot perfectly and then have the ability to do it every time after that, right? But you have interference patterns that get in the way of that. And these are some of your beliefs and your current strategies. Now, now why do I tell you all this science stuff about the body and cells and all that anyway? And it's to loosen your idea of how your body and your mind works for your game. 
so that you can break through your old self-limiting barriers that you don't even know exist and give you another model here that works for us busy golfers. That's what Break 80 Without Practice is all about. I'd like you to stay open. And I'm giving you a new model to add to what you already know. All right, so where is this memory stored? We really don't know. If you read books on the mind and the mind-body connection, you'll find that the latest research shows that each and every cell in your body has this intelligence, like I mentioned. So if we can find ways to send the same or similar coordinated signals to the muscles and all other cells involved in the golf swing, then we can get the same benefits we get when we spend hours knocking balls on the range or working on our short game at the practice screen. <laughs> really? And if you're like me, this is exciting. And it works, let me tell you. <laughs> you know what, my, I don't practice anymore. I don't need to. The study of our brain and mind and how we learn is called neuroscience. And it's taken huge leaps in the last 10 years in understanding how we as humans operate. The sports world is taking advantage of it. Scientists, psychologists, they have uncovered so many techniques, discovered how to enhance and improve your learning, your memory, your physical and mental performance on demand. I study this and I'm here to bring it to you, give it to you. I want you to get excited with me about all these possibilities and not only for golf. All right, so you can continue to do what you've always done and just keep scoring the way you've always scored. Or you can do something different. Now, I know very well what standard golf thinking has been teaching and still teaches. I know because I was brainwashed too and for many years. Lessons, practice. Expensive equipment, practice, more lessons, and maybe some training gadgets, more practice. Forget it! For many of you, it's just not going to happen. You know, in case you're thinking I'm just some rambling nobody here, then consider Jim Flick, one of the greatest golf teachers of our time. He said, golf is 90% mental, and the other 10% is mental too. Arnold Palmer. You probably have heard that Playing good golf is mostly mental. And it is. You know, so what I'm here to tell you is even the physical parts of the game are still mostly mental. And you've probably already discovered that many times on the course when your physical game just seems to leave you. There's so many more ways to get better at golf without practicing, and I want to teach them to you. Wait, wait until you see what I have for you tomorrow. I want you to look for that in your email. Greens and fairways. I'm Craig Sigal, the anti-practice expert. Break80withoutpractice.com.